Hey Fudge, what's going on man? <laughs> what am I doing? I uh, so I started this uh, Pokemon art. What was it? A few. When was this? Let me check the date. I tweeted out like a weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Um, Pico eight. So Pico. Um, oops. This is my Google Drive. So I started this little Pokemon Pico eight challenge. I made up for myself. Um, well, the music's a little bit loud. I started it back in September. Yeah, so I did it in September. I was doing it back in my old apartment. Um, and the challenges, it was, uh, I think it was for Pixel Dailies or something at the time. Oh no, it was inspired by Johan Vinay's, one of his art things. And the idea is creating eight by eight characters or something like that. What was it? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight by eight using this Pico 8 palette. And so I started doing it. And I started with just doing the Pokemon starters. Uh, and then I got out of control and I started doing more and then I was at like I'm about halfway I believe through the 150 150 would be down here um, so this is where I am and then I always said I would finish it and I uh, never actually end up finishing it so I got kind of burnt out on working on Skyhook tonight so I was like you know what I'm gonna try to get a little bit further on these guys and I figured why not stream it because because reasons so I've got this little reference plane of all the Pokemon up here. And it looks like we are up to Slowpoke. Here's the palette. So I really gotta get back into this. Let's see. I gotta remember all of the rules. So I know the rules are eight by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And has to use these colors. So let's jump in there stop working this isn't work this is uh this is what i do to not work this is this is exactly not work what are you up to fudge how's your day hopefully you're at home not at the space right now Oh yeah, I, should, I need some sort of a, uh, let's see, let's make a little 8x8 block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, let's make a little block for us to draw with in.
but you got you just walk in the door holy crap man it's 11 o'clock you just got back from the space you got a fat glass of scotch awesome it's the way to do it Let's see how would uh how could we achieve this slow poke I also thought today would be a, this would be a good opportunity. Sneeman, what's going on, dude? Thanks for coming back. I know you were hanging out earlier today. I thought uh, this would be another opportunity for me to stream for people who I usually miss out on because of the whole timing, because I always stream in the morning. Oh god, this looks so bad. They always end up looking like really bad until they look kind of good. I know that at least. I don't know why I have all this buffer at the top. I'm going to cut that out. See, man, I am working on a challenge I started way back in September to create 8x8 pixel arts, uh, pixel art pieces of all 150 original Pokemon using this Pico 8 palette here. Oh, Fush, did he get the arcade cabinet working? I can't tell if that was a thought or a so. Awesome, Steam Man. Yeah, I was worried people would think I was absolutely insane when they came on stream and saw me doing this as opposed to some, uh, you know, game dev stuff. But I'm having a difficulty... Alright, I need to scale some stuff down. I'm having difficulty seeing everything I want to see. Oh, I know what I need to do. Window... What is it? View? How do you make a second window? View, arrange. There we go, new window. There we go. So now I could see the Pokemon here. Like that. That way, everyone who's popping in the stream can also see what I'm doing while I zoom in over here on the actual thing. Made a little bit too big there. Just get my workspace set up here. For what you guys played, uh, MVC2 Guilty Gear Zombie Revenge. Sick! That's cool. Gotta get Skycon on it. Yeah, for sure. Whatever I gotta do, let me know. I'm not really sure how to get Skyhook on it. Does it run Steam? Steam it reminds me when you first started in 3D art and you had a couple of other kids your age that you can call Project Kanto. What? You made the first 150 in Blender? Dude, do you still have that? I'd love to see that. That's awesome. Actually, I should probably tweet about this. Should have Pico Pokemon or Pico Eight, but I don't even have a image of this, do I? I'm the worst. There we go. Sweet. Which could wire up a build. Sweet. What is it? What is it running off of again? It's not like is it? It's not like an actual Windows machine, right? 
Well, can I not zoom in anymore? Oh, that's a maximum zoom, guys. That's awesome. Never had the problem where I couldn't zoom in anymore that I wanted to. See, man, I was supposed to the Anistic forums. Oh, the images are corrupt. That sucks, man. You got 60 done. That is an awesome challenge. I gotta take that challenge upon me one day. So right now I'm trying to figure out how I can get his feet, tail, and back to all read. Look at some of the other guys. Maybe they could help me out. Pose is definitely the problem. Sweet Steam Man, you got a link to it? Ah, uh, it's a list of the ones you guys got done. The original sprites. Ah, but none of the actual 3D stuff. Ah, that sucks, man. Yeah, so most of the images are corrupt. It's so cool, dude. And you're still doing 3D stuff, right? Memories. Let's see, maybe we could get a better pose for Slowpoke because he's killing us right now. Okay, there's one of him on his feet sometimes. <laughs> Here's him posing on the beach. Let's go with this one. years later making a city in the Unreal Engine. Can you imagine going back to your um, younger self and being like, one day you're going to make a procedurally generated city in the Unreal Engine. Assuming he would even know what the Unreal Engine was back then. Man, I might have to move on from Slopo because he's killing me right now. Sometimes what I need to do is move move away from a, uh, just to move, uh, like just try the, another Pokemon and I'll come back and be like, oh crap, that's how, that's how that could be done. Like I'll work on like a higher evolution and then it'll kind of give me the idea for the next evolution. Right? Yeah, young me would be stoked too. If you told my young me, I, my friends always try to remind me of this because I tend to forget all the time. Like if you told young me like, dude, one day you'll have a game on Steam. Like, I would be so hyped. Tell me that now, and all that brings is stress and fear. Like, oh crap, like, how, I'm, how am I going to do it? How am I going to finish it on time? Let's see, how do I do legs usually? There's a good one there. Looks like just one of those. Give it one of these little leggy legs. <laughs> there we go. Just a few pixels. So what's, what I love about this challenge, which is not a real thing, I totally made it up myself. If anybody else wants to do it, that would be awesome. But yeah, you would have killed all of us for the tools we have now. Totally, man. Dude, the tools we have now compared to what, I, what we had when I was working in RPG Maker, like, oh my gosh. We need the little cloister cloist on his tail. So what I was saying is that what I love about this challenge is it forces me to think about, and I, you know, I hate this word, but it forces me to think about pixel art super minimally. Hey, Black Winter Productions, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. You are watching me try to draw all 150 original Kanto Pokemon using the Pico 8 palette in 8x8 
pixels. So I can't make it more than eight, I can't make any one of them more than eight pixels, no matter how badly I might want to. Okay, he looks kind of like a duck there. And the idea is that when you see it from far away, it should immediately read as that pick a man. Slowbro really that happy? He looks really happy in that concept piece. Blender before 2.0 was terrible. Yeah, I heard that UI is, was even more difficult than it is now. I think it was a cool way where I could show the cloisters on his tail's face. What's cool is we could preview it right there, kind of what it looks like. And of course, if you guys are hanging out in chat, feel free to always throw out suggestions on how you think I could make it look more, make it make it look better. Steam man, if you could go back in time, you'd have a stern talk with young you about topology. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <coughs> I would have a sterner talk with young me about anatomy and how to not draw things. And I would break the rules so much as a kid. I mean, not even the rules, just I would just not make things good. So this slowpoke is such shit right now. It's not looking good, guys. So if we could steal some elements from the older slow bro, the big brother here. Okay, 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 that's kind of a thing. It's kind of becoming a thing. This challenge is all about using a tiny amount of pixels to tell a large amount of Pokemon. That's not looking very readable. That looks like a cat. Damn it, Steam Man, I don't know, I'm not sure when you said it looked better. The darn delay in the stream. Now it looks like a really big cat. It was better, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the honesty, man. Slowpoke, why? Why are you so hard to make into an 8x8 pixel art? If you guys are just joining us, I am working on a silly challenge I came up with for myself, which is to create all 150 Pokemon in the Pico 8 palette. What is the Pico 8 palette? Pico 8. 
it's this uh, cute little kind of console thing that a bunch of devs came out, game dev guys made. Totally silly, but totally awesome. In fact, I'm going to add that as one of Ankbot's commands. Say Pico 8. Sweet, let's see if that works. Pico 8. Oh wait, the bot can't ask questions. There we go. Okay, okay. Just looking at it from afar, it's not awful. It's not terrible. The back is a little bit square. But that's sometimes some of the down. Sometimes the downside to working in this style. All right, all right, all right. I can, I can do with that. I can do with that. I can move forward. One of the biggest challenges to this one is not taking too much time and trying to move forward into the next Pokemon. Blackwinter Productions totally pushed the limit of how long that latest follower panel can get. One more character and I totally would have spilled right into my name. Right into the logo. That's awesome. Alright, next up is... Magnemite. Alright, this one's gotta be easy, right guys? I mean, he's a frickin... He's a freaking ball. Let's not try to waste too much time on this. We don't want to be here making Pico 8s forever. Or do we? Maybe we do. So we don't want to make him too big. But we're going to need some space for the Magnus. For his magnets. Okay, so maybe we are going to make him too big. See, if we make him, if we make Magnemite too big, and I know this is stupid, this is like me thinking of stupid stuff. 
But if we make Magnemite too big, then we're going to have to make Magneton even bigger, and we don't have that many pixels, right? So it's kind of cheating, depending on if I want to keep all of these guys to some kind of a scale. Like, if Magnemite is this big, then how big could Magneton possibly be? Like, what I like is Squirtle, Wartortle, and Bulbas... Uh, <laughs> Squirtle, Wartortle, and uh, Blastoise have this kind of increasing scale, but I couldn't get away with that for Charmander. And, like, Charizard is the same size as Charmeleon, because simply I didn't have enough pixels left. So let's see how small I can make this guy. And still make him look like a circle. Magnemite. Man, this is. I thought it, this would be a lot easier because he's a ball, but it ended up becoming a lot harder because he's a ball. Now, this is the cheat route. But I might as well start in the cheat route and work my way from there. Make him face one direction. Let's keep his eyes blank. Add a little bulb at the top. He's actually got two silver bulbs, which I don't think we have the colors for. Yeah, if we add those, it gets less and less readable. Well, actually, no, that's not bad. Red up here, red down there. And then blue, blue. And for some added effect, we can put these into shade. And then could make him look up or make him look down. What do you guys think? Make him look up or make him look down? Down's looking kind of cute. I don't know if you guys think up looked better. What a question, right? What direction should a Magnemite look? Now let's make a little Magneton. Now this one's going to get interesting. Gosh, let's start with one at a time. I tried to do all of them at one time and I already got overwhelmed. Man, sometimes just if you, you just wish you had one more pixel. purple. So the biggest thing about this challenge is using let's move this Magnemite over is using the shadows to make the viewer think that they're seeing something even if it's not, even if it's not actually there. A lot of times it feels like very much a project of like pointillism. I 
Maybe I should just go full Magnemite with it. Sneeman, man, you like the Magnemite? Sweet. Thanks, man. It's adorable. You're so cute. This Magneton is proving to be a lot harder. But I knew that going in since it has way more moving parts. And the trick is, I think, is keeping in mind that I don't have to show every single part. As long as you get, as long as you can look at it and get the feeling that this is, like, yeah, that's a magneton. This is interesting. This music is nice. This is the Pokemon Orchestra or something. They, oh, the, it's called the uh, Pokemon Reorchestrated. This is the Kanto Symphony. do this gives you like a feeling that all of their arms are there even though really there's just one at the top is definitely not my best so far but we're gonna keep moving jumble of pixels there. I'll see who's next. Next up is Farfetch'd. Or Farfetch'd, sorry. Everything about birds is they're fairly easy because I have mostly a groundwork for the birds, which is Beak. Eyes. He's a little bit tan, which what's his best for his skin color? It's like a brown. And we don't want him to look like Pidgey. We gotta make sure he has his little green stick.
Is that a celery? Is that what Farfetch'd holds? He holds a big stick of celery? I don't get it. Why does he hold celery? Does anyone know the lore behind Farfetch'd? Why he holds a big friggin' celery? A leek? Oh, is that what it's called? It's called a leek? What is a leek? Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, no, let me not miss it! What? El Hero... Well, El Hero Loco! El Hero Loco, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. We are working on 8x8 minimal pixel art Pokemons. It's a silly challenge for absolutely no reason that I'm doing here on stream today. Taking a break from my regular game dev regimen. Now what's a good tan orange? No, because we're using that for the beak, so pink. And for orange is this purple is pretty good as the shadow color we're not getting his little head spikies in there which I think is a much is a big part of his personality so let's try to just stick that in there I guess it's just one enough Wait, this pink and stuff is not working out. It's got to be like that. So he's got his big celery, or his leek. The Japanese expression called a duck bearing onions. It means something unexpected but convenient. Huh. How did you know? Sneeman. You, how did you, how did you know the secrets behind Farfetch'd? Ah, so in Japanese, he's... I see. Hey, El Hero Loco, thanks so much, man. So it's still a little exercise we're doing to try to make all the Pokemon in 8x8 squares as if they were going to be in the Pico 8 engine. goes looks like he's holding it kind of wish I could move it over by one You guys can see it zoomed in here, and you can see it zoomed out over here. Poor Farfetch. Someone in your life likes to remind you every chance they get. It's awesome that you knew that, dude. Next up is Doduo and Dodrio. Sweet. Start with some Doduo here. Maybe it's time to drop these guys in. Uh, you know what? Let's keep them here because more birds. I'm enjoying seeing them. So Doduo is going to have a big old ball body. head and the head man these two-headed characters are the worst they take so many more pixels 
Actually, maybe he's not going to be too bad. Oh, he actually has a tan beak, not an orange beak. Tan legs. A little bit of white at the bottom for his claws. Little black necks. So here's the base version. Now, next, let's see if we could give it some personality. Okay, they cannot have eyes. Now that they're making their head way bigger. Okay, these big feet are, I don't think are working out. That looks pretty do duo to me. And then how the hell are we going to fit three? <sighs> you're killing me, Pokemon. You're killing me. down to save space. Add their necks. <laughs> that actually looked kind of cool. Not enough room for for their feet. Tell if their leg looks weird sticking out like that. Gotta give them a little pink tail. Just two pixels equals a tail in this game. A little bit black underling. And that's a Dodrio. man you like it sweet thanks man let's push just plop all these guys in here do I look a grid or something I do have a grid there we go That Magnemite is adorable. So I'm just placing all these guys into an 8x8 grid. So they're all nice and lined up. I can erase those Pokeballs. Next up is Oh man, what the hell is this thing called? That's a dugong. Is that just a seal? Or a sphere? I don't remember what evolves into a dugong. Yeah, it literally is just seal. That's not very creative. <laughs>
but that's okay because he's adorable. Music's pretty spooky. Is this a Lavender Town song? Everything makes him look like a duck. truth is that all Pokemon are actually ducks. There's his little tongue sticking out. That's right guys, I talk to my Pixel I like they're babies. and chubby. Oh, he has freaking tusks. I don't think we can fit the tusks in here. No, it looks like he's blushing. It's actually not bad. Oh, but the tusks would be in the wrong place then. There we go. Hmm. I don't know if I like it. Well, it does look like a sea lion. I guess. But the tusks are going down. It's the uh, dugong's tusks go down. But apparently seal's tusks go up. Whatever that means. I think it looks better without the tusks. To be honest. He's got his horns, he's got his eyes, cool, let's pull him out. Get out of there, Seal. You're useless. No one likes you. See, <laughs> man, mine's look better than the original. Uh, highly doubt it, bro. Highly doubt it. Here's Dugong, who literally has no colors. And is just a big ass sea lion with the horn. Oh, he's like a unicorn sea lion. That's cute. That's cute. I can I can get on board with unicorn sea lions. It's gotta have tusks. like a freaking tiger or something. Oh my god, he looks scary. That doesn't look like a happy animal at all. Maybe I'll just do what I was doing before. Oh man, I gotta show you guys this. My favorite one that I've done so far is freaking Geodude. Look at this guy. This guy looks so happy to be alive. That is a Geodude. And I guess that's probably the Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout looks cute too. Or sorry, is that a Weeping Bell? Yeah, Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell looks cute too. But some of these Pokemon, sheesh. See, man, that Project Kanto link, you can still see one of the Pokemon I made, Dugong, as your profile picture. No way! Of all the Pokemon to make your profile picture, you chose Dugong? Why would you make it a Dugong? Wait, no, it chose... Which one are you? 
There's a magneton, a cubone. Oh, sweet. There it is. Oh, no. Check it out, guys. This is a dugong, Sneem animated in Blender years and years and years ago. Oh, man. That's awesome. Dugong, the most useless Pokemon, officially. That's so cool, man. You gave it a little nose. But I can't fit the nose because it's pixel art. Unless I get rid of the mouth. Oh god, that looks horrifying. This doesn't even look like a shit. It looks like a nothing. It's just this just looks like a this just looks like a It's like a lie. That's what it looks like. It looks like a big ass big old lie. I think it's because of how I'm approaching the face. It just doesn't look cute. Maybe he's one of the ones that shouldn't have the other eye. And it looks like some kind of an alien donkey. Maybe it's because we're forcing the tusks? What's more important, the nose or the tusks? another one that's trying to stump me. He's supposed to be a freaking walrus. So let's just make him a walrus. Man, Dugong is not easy. It is pretty cute now that oh shit. It is pretty cute now that I'm looking at it, but god damn it. Maybe my approach was just too big to begin with. Hmm. That is actually not worse. Somehow, that is actually not worse. Am I crazy? Ship it, that's a dugong. Take it or leave it. Time for some Grimer action. What up, Grimes? Why are you so grimy, Grimer? This should be interesting. I was doing the mouse, animating with the mouse this whole time. Let's get back into the tablet. When I looked at this project from before, I was like, oh man, this shit is so easy. Why did I never why did I never finish this? Now I remember why. It's freaking hard. It's not easy at all. It's the complete opposite of easy. It's not easy. Sneeman, you found your old Canto files? Are you kidding me? That is sweet. Dude, you gotta like render them all out. Oh man, dude, you should post that in so many places. 3D forums, Pokemon forums, Pokemon subreddit. What the hell's the dark for this color? Gray? No. Shit. 
This is the dark. Crap, crap, crap. Sometimes I don't have the colors I would want to use. Man, you should uh you got to get them all into like one scene and then just like render that out oh, that would be so cool Hey man, yeah, definitely share some pictures from 2010. Oh, not really that long ago. Five years? Now it's time for the big man himself. Motherfucking Grimer. Look at him. He's literally doing like a gangster. He's literally doing like gang sign. Because that's how... That's how boss Grimer is. He just throws up gang signs. I'm trying to use these dark purples to make it look like he's angry. It's definitely not coming across right now. It looks happy. Actually not terrible. If you're looking at it, remember we gotta judge these guys from this view. Now I wanna make sure I'm not getting too hard edged with the corners. slime he has going through his mouth possibly I think it reads oh shit what have I done I was working in the same layer 
let's oh let's put these guys into their places almost done with the whole row that's exciting Sneeman getting those 3D models together. Next up is little Cloister himself, Cloister. Now come on, this one has to be easy, right guys? This one should just be a matter of plopping some pixels and blopping some blixels. And watch it turn to like literally the hardest one we ever had to do. that he has. Looks like he's screaming. Shadow to the red. Oh, nope. It's the same purple. Should his eyes be up there or down here? Yeah, might, might be able to make this guy even smaller. Gives it a little bit of a little bit a little, a little dimension. Next up is the big bad. Oh wait, this was Shelter, right? And Cloister is the big one. Awkward. Gotta learn my Pokemons, bros. Shelter Cloister's got a big ol' horn. Of course, because every frickin' Pokemon has a horn. Like, what's crazy about doing this experiment is... I find you get to see a lot of the similarities between all kinds of Pokemon. And kind of the decisions they made when they were designing them. Both good and bad.
So man, they're being re-rendered and re-uploaded in 1080p HD Pokemon. That's awesome, man. Can't wait to see it. Can't believe you found that after all these years. That's pretty wild. found six of them but you made eight you couldn't find victory bell or charmander oh man let's take a look at these these are five-year-old 3d models sneeman did oh this is awesome got some dugong got a sleepy sleepy snorlax a creepy creepy bell sprout an awesome was a voltorb or electrode and a weeping bell that's so cool man you said you thought you did 80 or something before? Oh, these are pretty great. Nice soft models. Probably really crazy topology. Next post? Oh. It was a team effort. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So a bunch of you are doing all of them. Great. That's really awesome, man. Maybe it's time to dust off those old blenders and uh, make it in 2016. I don't know. Like, see, here's a crazy thing. I never even noticed that they're along the same line. It goes Shelter, Cloister, and then Ghastly. And they're both balls of black, which has to mean that Ghastly is the ghost of a Cloister, right? only makes sense but then Gengar looks like the ghost of a hypno like what the hell it's the meta guys it's all about the meta the meta Pokemon story Ghastly, a little bit of smoke. See, man, you could blaze through them now. Custom texture? I don't know, man. They're still fairly complex character models, although I'm not actually sure. You know, I, I mean, I'm not, or I'm not um, super conscious of your skill level, but I imagine even for a super, the problem is now. Even if you were to do them, you try to do them so well and so good, it'd probably still take a ton of time. I don't know, man. But well, right now I'm working on some of my favorite Pokemon. The Ghost Brothers, Gengar, Ghastly, and... Uh, Haunter, some of the coolest Pokemon.
question is how to make them look like they are Gengar, Ghastly, and Hunter. Oh sweet, that looks so much better. Problem is this other hand here. I just had one more pixel, man. Don't know where to put that arm so that it's still readable. I could do this. It seems like a huge waste. Right now I'm trying to figure out where to put his arm. Oh, it looks like they do glow red, so that could help. Or not. tough when you have so few pixels to work with. Oh, that helps. Give a little shadow. Steam man, you're stuck in memory lane, looking at your old projects. Yeah, man, that's the way to do it. That'll bring it back. Is there any projects you left behind that you wish you could go back to? Your skill level's way beyond it. For sure, man. That's a good thing, right? It's 
get some Gengar in here. Time is about midnight. We're gonna make Gengar the last one for today. This guy's gonna be interesting to do. It's always these diagonal. Diagonals are super hard with only eight pixels. I don't know, Sneeman, are you ready for it? Can you do it? Can you really remake it? Or is there probably not enough time in the day? Is it the end of the symphony? Sounded pretty conclusive. Ho, oh, so hoen. Such hoeing right now. Now these songs are bringing back the nostalgia for me, man. He's got red eyes, that's awesome. And a white smile. I don't think him dancing around is really helping. be able to make it one pixel wider. Question is in which direction do we go? You know, you made an old Mario thing. You forgot what you were doing. Oh, sweet. A little, hold on, pull this in here. A little piranha plant, little mountain. Dude, is that in? Oh, it's in Blender. Awesome, man. That is pretty legit. That's like a next gen piranha plant. That's awesome, dude. Look at this other arm to read.
Dude, that prone plan is sick! What? Dude. That's like the Unreal Engine version of a Mario game. That is pretty badass. These tentacles, I like the curves on them. That is really creepy. Imagine if that's what the Piranha Plants actually look like in Mario. Children would be frightened everywhere. Throw these guys in here. The way I was approaching this project before is I would just do one row every day. And so, let's see how many we did today. I think a row should be like 10. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen in a row. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's clean up the grid. Let's get rid of the Pokeballs. Awesome guys, I'm going to call it there with the Pico 8 Pokemon, actually I'll, I'll leave the old one up, but just so you guys know I stream regularly Monday to Friday at 2pm Eastern, I work on my game Skyhook, it is a game where you fight with grappling hooks, but I'll jump back to what we worked on today. Here it is, progress on the Pokemon Pico 8 Challenge, we're almost halfway through, actually no, sorry, we're way more than halfway through, one, two, three, four more, th three and a half more rows to go, it's awesome. We made some great progress today. Thank you guys so much for your help. Sneeman, thanks for the company. Fudge, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it, guys. I'll be back on tomorrow at the normal time, 2 p.m. Eastern, streaming regular old Skyhook development. Sneeman, yeah, I'm getting off. It's about 12.20 a.m. here. Uh, so I'm going to head to bed, get ready for the next work day, get ready for streaming tomorrow. Yeah, it was good hanging out, man. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you, um... Oh, you got up for a bit. Yeah, ah, sorry. Yeah, I finished up a whole row. I'm going to call it there. Uh, I got to get ready, get back to work on Skyhook, and then get ready for tomorrow's stream. Um, yeah, of course. No, I'm going to try to do some more of these random late night art streams. Uh, I spend so much time working on the game that sometimes I forget to do other things. Uh, so I'm going to try to do a little bit of fun stuff like this. Paintings, pixel art, 3D art, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so definitely try to get into more of that. But Steam Man, thanks so much, dude. You hung out during the regular stream today and during today's pixel art stream. Really, really appreciate it, man. Hey, if you find any other uh, awesome like art, like or old art or whatever, please tweet at me or message me on Twit, uh, Twit, Twitch, uh, or whatever. I'm on Twitter at Ways Kazi, uh, so please tweet at me. Let me see some of that stuff you find, man. But alright, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Please come by, and if you enjoyed what you saw, I'll be doing a lot more pixel art and stuff. So please follow, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.